Hey everyone, I want to show you how I turn these dry erase blocks from Dollar Tree into these beautiful home decor blocks that represent all of the seasons. Okay, here I'm just shaking up the paint that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a copper color, and this is um, called Copper by Folk Art, and it's a metallic paint. And I'm also going to be using a metallic gold by Folk Art and a metallic black. Um, I chose these colors because these are the colors that I have in my home especially in the family room where these are going to be displayed and these colors will work perfectly with what i've got going on in that space so i'm using a dampened sponge um brush or <laughs> stampin sponge just put it that way and i'm just tapping into all the colors and just going around the corners of the block um, i painted the block a solid brown color um, you can paint it whatever color you want to use, you know, you match the blocks to match your decor, should I say. Um, so yeah, I'm just going around the corners where, you know, when the light hits it, you'll see that, you know, sort of shimmer from the metallic paint. And mixing the colors gives it dimension. So I'm loving how this is turning out so far. If you have like the farmhouse decor, you could probably chalk paint this um, and then use, I guess, sort of a black marker to mimic the Ray Dunn uh, style that's going on. I was inspired to do this DIY by In The Event with Kareem. I think that's the name of her channel. I'm going to post the link down below. Um, she did something with some foam dice, I think, from Dollar Tree for Christmas. It was like a Christmas countdown calendar. And I couldn't find the dice, but I did find these dry erase blocks at Dollar Tree and decided to do this DIY. And it's so easy. So simple, so easy and cheap six bucks i already had the paint and everything else and the blocks were a uh, dollar each at dollar tree I love how the light is hitting that copper color. Um, really, really pretty. So loving this DIY. Okay, so now that all my blocks have dried, I'm just gonna take a paint Sharpie. Um, I got this pack from Home Depot. Um, it's an oil-based paint. Um, marker or sharpie and i'm just writing in the letters um there are six letters in each season so i'm just writing um each letter you know on the six blocks in each of the four sides if that makes sense so summer you know you'll start with your s and then for winter you add your w for autumn you'd add your a and for spring you'd add another s and you make sure that they're all going in the same direction so when you flip the blocks over you'll have them in the order that they need to go if that makes sense and again you can choose whatever color you want and i'm just showing you how it looks and there is summer and when you flip it over you'll actually see well, I guess not in this clip, <laughs> but 
but um, I guess I'll show you. Yeah, when you flip it over, then you'll put the first letter of the next season. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is going to be A for Autumn, if I'm not mistaken. And then with the U in summer, I'm going in with the U in autumn. So you would continue on with each letter of each season. So. Okay, here we are finished. I don't have the best handwriting, but honey, I love how this turned out. So here we have winter, and then there's autumn. It is so pretty, I love how this turned out. And then if we flip it over, there's summer, and spring. So I have something that I could use year round for each season. So let me know what you think about this DIY in the comments below. Let me know if you're going to make one. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And here is how I have it displayed in my family room. It is on my fireplace mantle. And I've just added some fall picks. Um, alongside it I'm definitely gonna change this up but for video purposes I wanted you to see how it would look um, so yeah love how that looks And when you see the fall home tour, you'll get a chance to see um, how it blends in with all the colors in this space. And this is going to do it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.